Good afternoon. Is anybody here? It is a gloomy day on the lake today. Rain, rain, and more rain. Hi, Kim. Thanks for coming in. How are you, Kim? <laughs> I have the picture behind me. Isn't it cool? I was so happy to find that. It's amazing, isn't it? I love the colors in it. Yes, I know. There's more rain coming here. Lots and lots of rain. So tired of the rain. But the last couple days it's been it's been okay. It's been cloudy a little bit, but but I think there's gonna be some pouring rain and storms coming. So I was thinking about my friend D and I'm wondering how her shoulder is doing and I hope that D, if you're watching or gonna watch this video later, I hope that you're feeling better and you get some movement in your shoulder and you're not in too much pain. And then I'm thinking about you and hope that you do feel better. All right. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. That is cool. I love finding things like that. Cool. Well, Nancy, open your box. But you're going to love it. That was a cool piece I sent to you. Yeah, I hope everybody's thinking about Dee and sending her some prayers and thoughts. I'm actually getting ready to go to a, um, a party on the lake today. The lake, we get together and we throw a big, huge party and it's going to be about um, seafood. So we're having a seafood party at the lake today. And that starts around three o'clock. So I just thought I'd pop on and see if I could do a quick sale before going over. Because I got some really cool stuff. I just love this picture back here. It is amazing. It's purples and yellows and greens. And the trim on the around the frame is really different, isn't it? With the blue trim. And I believe that was it's an original um, frame because it's it's got a pull bar in the back so that the um you know the material stays um, tight in the back. So guess we'll wait for a couple more people to pop in, and so we can see if we can um, I can show you guys some really cool stuff. Looking for my lens. Oh, they're there. Okay. Got my glasses. Oops. I forgot my tape measure. It's over here. Let me grab that. I'll be right back. Okay. Got my tape measure. 
Gonna need this. That. Okay. Oh. Time to get my, so you can guys can see my bird picture in the back. So, so cool. Thank you guys scoot over a little bit. Like that. Here. Now you can see my picture of the bird. It's so cool. Hmm. I know. I know. I think I have 117 subscribers now. So, I think I've been at it for what, maybe three or four weeks now. So, I'm patient. I'm a patient person. I try to be patient. Hi. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Yeah, the rain's going to start like any moment. That's why I'm not outside. It is going to start downpouring. We might even get some thunder and lightning. I am in front of our sliding glass doors here. So I have some natural lighting come in, coming in. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks. And I have quite a, some of those things in my Instagram pictures I have here today. So we'll see. I just love this cat too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to be patient and everybody tells me to be patient, so I am. I'm a patient person at points in time. I guess it might rain here a lot this week. Kind of tired of the rain. But what can you do? Trying to remember what I, what else I say. Oh, you got the um, the cats and the um, hi Pat. Thanks, Pat. I appreciate that. But yeah, Nancy, I think I remember I showed you. I sent you the cats and the um, the um, chicken and the rooster dish. So yeah, you're gonna love that. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm trying to learn everybody's names, and if I screw up on names, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying. Thanks, Kim. Thanks. My husband keeps saying, he goes, you got to sell your good stuff. I'm like, this is my good stuff. <laughs> he goes, no, you're, you know, your good stuff. I'm like, 
this is my good self. <laughs> he tries to understand it too, but you know, he doesn't watch YouTube sales or go to YouTube sales. So I tried to explain to him too what's going on. Hi, Christina. Thanks for coming on. I just thought I'd pop on um because I'm going to a party in a little while, probably like around 3 30, 4. We're having a big party here at the lake and it's called the Seafood Fest. And um there's gonna be lots of seafood there. So I thought I'd pop on and see what I could do today. Hi, Angie. <laughs> it's funny because um, Missy got me started in a collection of um, collecting green glass. And so, yeah, I've got a lot of pretty green glass now. And I, and I blame that to Missy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, well, plus I have all, besides green glass, I have a lot of uranium glass too. So I'm going to wait for a couple more people to pop in and maybe we can get started. But no, I don't have any more of that um, stuff that you're talking about, Nancy. That um, that uh, I think it's lucite or maybe with the rooster on it and the chickens, the rooster and the dragons, right? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I don't have any more of that. But believe me, when I come across it, I'm going to get it. I love that stuff. Yes, thumbs up. Thanks, Nancy. Joanne, yes. It's not raining yet, but the sky has dark gray clouds, fluffy clouds. It did rain a little bit over during the night. Of course, I woke up and everything's soaking wet in the grass and everything. I have some really cool things today. Got some Christmas linens here. Um, some really actually pretty linens. I have a, a pillowcase. I have lots of books, lots of glass, lots of pottery. And there's something else I found right here in front of me the other day which I haven't shared yet, and I will share it with you guys first. And it's pretty cool. It is. Get everything ready here. A little unorganized today because I just in the last 30 minutes just decided I was going to do this. So I'm just a little bit unorganized. You guys want to get started? 
this is a live sale. And if you don't have, um, if you've already um, bought from me, then I already have your information. But if not, I'm going to put in my, hi, Blue, Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Thank you for coming. I'm going to send my, put my email in here. And you can send me your e email to my address there. I know, I know, but we, we can all send her our prayers and thoughts and that she's going to get better soon. I'm sure she's going to get better soon. I'm sure she's very sore today. And, then, and if D sees this, we can all say that we're thinking about you, D. And hope you get better soon. I'm sure she will. She's a strong woman. She's from New York. <laughs> D is a strong woman. So yes, just send me your information. Yes. Thanks, Nancy. Um, so I need your um, PayPal address, your home address, your YouTube name, and your real name. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, hmm. I am going to start. I have everything back here on the shelf. I'm thinking I might pull my table back a little bit further. So I'm not reaching. Hang on a second, guys. Let's go back a little bit further. There. I have these really cool vintage salt and pepper shakers. They are orange and white and black. And they are really cool. And they're they're a big chunky shaker. And they both have their bottoms on here with a felt. I'm gonna measure these for you guys. And they are, they stand five inches and on the top they're about three inch, well to the handle they're four inches. And see here by my head they are a big chunky salt and pepper shaker. I just love the coloring on them. So cool. And these are going to be, let's see, I'm going to put these on my cards instead. I'm going to say these are going to be $12. $12, number 22 for the shakers, if anybody would like those. $12, number 22 for these really cool shakers. You know, like I said, they have the orange and the tan going throughout them. There's no cracks. There's no chips. They're just a really cool vintage design. And here's the tops. Number 22 for $12 for anybody like these. I think they're really cool. I think they look cool by your oven. Okay, and we will pass on those. Let's see. I have this really cool tin. It's very colorful, as you can see. It's got like the turquoise and the gold. And here's the top. Very pretty. Very, very bright colors. But on my last sale, I put a sticky note on here and the from the note, it bled onto the paint. And I'm not sure, I have not tried getting that out, so I'm not sure if it will come out. And the tin says here, it's from New York City and there's cookies in here. Let's see the top. Stop. Right. There's no ding marks on it either, so. Uh, this is, I, I just think it's very pretty, very pretty tin. And this is going to be $13, number 
$13, number 31 for the tin, if anybody would like this tin. Top on tight, tighter, yeah. Hi, Miss Pam. Hi, Miss Pam. Oh, it's so nice of you to come in. I appreciate that. <laughs> so this is number 31 for $13, if anybody would like really cool tin. It's very colorful. Now, like I said, it's the golds and the blues and these really pretty flowers all the way around. And this is the top. Let's measure this. This measures five inches tall and it is seven inches wide. $13 for number 31 for this really pretty tin, if anybody would like this. Okay, and we'll go on to the next. How are you today, Miss Pam? It is gloomy here in New York. Gloomy, gloomy. Now I'm gonna show you my next tin that I just got. And it's awesome. Wish I had my mag. I'm gonna put my glasses on. And see if I can see this date in here. I think it says 1860. I'm gonna show you this tin that I got yesterday. And down here at the bottom, it says 1860 right here, right above my finger, if you can see that. And this tin is freaking amazing. This would be awesome in a Halloween display. It is all orange and black with a gold on it. And check out the writing that is here on the side right here. Check out the, how they wrote this stuff right here. It looks very um, Halloween-ish to me. Look at this. I just love this tin. Um, I was going to keep it, but I'm not, I can't keep everything. Here's the top. I'm going to show you how it pops open like this. Okay. And it pops open like this right here. Opens and closes. Here's the inside. This tin is awesome. And on the bottom it says, made in England. Right here, it says made in England. And there's actually like, there's no really a lot of wear on it. There could be some like rubbing on the sides right here. But all in all, this is amazing tin and it's going to be $18, number 81 for the, for this mustard tin, if anybody would like this. Let's measure it first. It is five inches by four and a half inches. $18, number 81 for this um, mustard tin. I'll show you the sides again. Awesome for a Halloween display. Isn't that so cool? And it's funny because my last name's Carrington. This is Barringers. So cool. I just love this design. Okay, and I will go off to the next one. <laughs> uh, I love you, Miss Pam. You, you make my day all the time. Okay, I'm going to go on to some Christmas linens. I have this really cool um, vintage table runner. And this is one edge from here. Hold it up a little bit closer so you can see. This is this side here and it goes all the, it's a long, it's a pretty long table runner. And that's the other edge. I'm gonna measure it to see how long it is here. It is, It is 41 inches long and it is and in 
same width it is, let's see, one, 16 inches. And this is going to be $12, number 88, $12, number 88 for this um, vintage Christmas table runner. One side. 88 for table runner. Just writing this down. $12, number 88, if anybody like this um, Christmas table runner. It's very bright, isn't it? Got a lot of colors to it. The reds and the greens and the yellows. And I love the little Christmas, um, the bells and the holly and the, and the everything in here. So pretty. Okay, now go on to my next one. Yeah, I bet you this crazy, Miss Bam. Crazy, crazy. Now I have this really pretty vintage table cloth. And it is, I love the design right here. This is the design at each corner. Try and get it up for you here. A little bit better so you can see it. This I'm gonna show you is just like one corner of the tablecloth. It is a Christmas tree and look at the little Santa down at the bottom of the Christmas tree. Isn't that so cute? Very pretty. There is a little bit of staining in here and I have not even tried to, to get it out. So there's a little bit of staining in here. But I believe it's, it fits a ta um, uh, card table. Let me, let me measure it real quick. I'm gonna actually stand up and show it to you so that you can see it a little bit better. Yes, cause there's like a wreath in the middle of it or a holly wreath. And like I said, this is the, um, on all the corners the little tree with a Santa in it right here. That's so cute. So yes, I believe this fits a um, a card table. And I'll sit down and measure it for you guys. Let's see. And it measures 40 inches, 40 inches. I know it is, it's very cute. I have some other um, vintage Christmas stuff coming too. And this tablecloth is going to be $18, number 44 for that tablecloth. $18 for the Christmas tree Santa cloth. Anybody would like that? I'll show it again. Get my measure out of there. So this is going to be $18, number 44. If anybody would like this vintage, um, Christmas tablecloth. Very pretty, isn't it? I just love that little Santa in the bucket there. <laughs> so cute. Oh, so cute. Okay, and I will go on to my next. Let me fold this back up. Okay. Next, I have a Betty Boop pillow. I love this pillow. It's really nice and bright. I did toss it in the washing machine and dried it. Um, I love her eyes and look at her shoes. Even her shoes are so cute. So this is that latch, that latch hook that was um, done. Yes. And this got like a blue, a very baby blue um, lace around the back. I mean the sides. And then the back, it's like a, um, a denim kind of color. But it is a soft, fluffy pillow. 
Look, Betty poop on it. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at those lashes. And she is, let's measure her. She is 15, 16 inches across. 16 inches for the Betty Boop. And she's going to be $14, number 44, for Betty Boop. Betty Boop. $14 for number 44. If anybody would like Betty Boop. And she's got red earrings on too. I know this this weather's crazy, isn't it? Crazy, crazy. Okay, and now I have a vintage um, tea towel with Santas all over it. Look at all these Santas on this tablecloth, I mean this tea towel. And it does say down here on the bottom, made in Ireland. And this is a pretty big um, tea towel. I'm going to measure it for you. It is. It's really nice and bright. I don't even think it was ever washed. I don't think it was ever used. And it is 28 inches long. And it is... almost 18 inches wide so it is a pretty good um size hi book bewitched thanks for coming in so it is a really good size um tea towel and this is going to be number 43 for 12 dollars Forty-three for twelve dollars for the Santa tea towel, and yeah, it is it is kind of big. Like I said, it does say down here, made in Ireland, right here. And I believe like every Santa is the same. They could be different. I don't know. They don't look at number forty-three for twelve dollars for anybody who liked the Santa tea towel. Okay, we're back. You got it. I'm gonna put you down. I got you, Rebecca. And my next linen is a really, really pretty, very pretty, beautiful, love the coloring in it. It is a girl. It, this is all hand stitched. And she has her bonnet on and her beautiful dress. And look at the beautiful coloring in this. The stitching that somebody did in this took a long time. I'm not even sure what kind of stitch this is right here. But this stitch right here is so cool. I love how they did the stitching right here. But the whole stitching on the whole thing is beautiful. And there is another girl on the back. It is a table runner, a dresser runner, whatever you want it to be. I know it is. It is cute, Rebecca. And I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to measure it. There's no stains on it. There's no rips on it. I don't believe it was ever used. If there was any stains on it, I can't see it. And the little flowers down here in the bottom with her beautiful blue dress. And it's so pretty. This would really set off any dresser. And let me measure that real quick, too. This is going to be 39 inches long. And it is... In width, it is about 15 inches. And this is going to be $14, number 77, for the table runner. I know. I'm going to scoot over so everybody can see it a little bit more because I love that picture. I love that pit picture. 
and I wish I could sell it on my sales, but the whole frame is, you know, it's kind of like, it's that it was all made together. So it's, I can't take it apart. You know, I can't take the picture out of there. Oh, that sounds fun, Miss Pam. I love going to those things. So yes, anyways, this is number 14 for $77. I mean, number 77, $14. If anybody would like this really cute table runner. Really cute, very precious looking. Isn't it? Look at that work, everybody. Somebody did on that. A lot of work somebody did on that. Okay, and I'll fold it up and I'll put it away. And I also have another one that is just as pretty as that one. But this one's a little bit different. Each side is the same. It is another table runner. And this is the girl on this side here. But on this print, it has the, um, the crocheting. There's pink and white crocheting all the way around the whole table. <laughs> So pretty, and look at her little lips and her ribbons and her beautiful dress. Wow, somebody took a, somebody did an amazing job. Amazing. And the picture's the same on the other side. Same stitching. I love this. This is also going to be number, going to be $14, and it is going to be number... 81 and she is with the pink so $14 number 81 if anybody would like this one very pretty I'm going to measure it real quick I think this one's a little bit shorter than the other one I don't see any staining on it it's really nice and bright and white so from this side to the other side, look at the little delicate flowers on her dress. So, so pretty. And let's smash this real quick. This measures inches long. It is pretty. And it is 15 inches in width. I just love it. I just, the colors are just so, as you can see, I'm glad I'm sitting in front of the sun. What sun we have today. <laughs> that you can see the colors and look at her umbrella. Her umbrella and her face and her dress. Ah, oh, that stitching. $14, number 81, if anybody would like this one. And we will pass on to the next one. Put this tin up here. I have this really cool red and white pillowcase with this really cool design on it. And it is like a velvet. The red is like a velvet and the red continues into the back. And this is also a nice velvet in the back. I don't think it was ever used I'm going to show you the zipper. Zipper works up and down really good. And then here's like the tag that was on here. So I don't think it was ever used. And then you can just put your own pillowcase in there or your own batting in here, whatever you want to put in there. And this measures, um, this measures 24 inches, almost 25 across. And it is 15 inches wide. And this is going to be $12, number 77. If anybody would like this, $12, number 77 for this really cute pillowcase. I bet you this would be cute on your bed or in your couch or in a chair, rocking chair, wherever you'd like to put it. Okay. Okay, now going to my next. I know, very pretty, huh? Very, very pretty. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you a little surprise that I got yesterday, and I just I'm gonna take my glasses off. 
I just love these. I'm going to show you the box first because it comes in its original box. Check it out. It is all these vintage Christmas figurine bell ornaments. And I have all of them in here. And they are all from Mark Japan. Isn't just this box. I just love this box. And it has all the holly berries all around the top. Nothing wrong with this box either at all. Just some, some fading with age, really. Now I'm going to show you all the um, little ornaments that were in the box. Look at these little ornaments. I got all of them. Look at these ornaments. Okay, the first one is, I believe, a little caroler. And then here we have a little um, little pixie right here. Then we have another caroler here. And here is Mrs. Santa Claus. Here is Santa Claus. Here is, uh, I believe, Rudolph. And a snowman and another caroler. Aren't these some strings? I'm gonna take one out. I'm gonna take the pixie out. I love the pixie. And they're all stamped Japan inside here. Every single one is stamped Japan. And I don't think they're I think maybe they're about an inch big. But I will measure them to see how tall. Well, they're all different heights. This little pixie is two and a half inches. And look at this little face. It's a little sweet in his little ears and his hat. And let's see. I'm going to say these are going to be $17. Number 24. $17, number 24 for these vintage. For these vintage um, Christmas ornaments. Show you up close here. Caroler, Santa, uh, reindeer, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. Um, there's a pixie in here and a couple more carolers. These are going to be $17, number 24. How many is there? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight all in the box, and you get the original box to go with it. Can you get that, Joanne? I don't blame you. This is amazing. I bet you I'll never come across this again in my life. And none of them are chipped, none of them are broke. They are just so, so sweet. Aren't they so cute? Oh, I'm going to put the lid back on so that you can see the lid, too, again. But I got you, Joanne, for that. Thank you. I appreciate that. And here they all are on the outside. Even if you, you know, put these in, put, your, put the ornaments on your tree or wherever you want to put them, you can still display this box, this amazing box with all the flowers on it. There's no breaks in the box. It is really in really good shape. There is some fading, but, you know, not a lot. Look at this. Yes, look at that. Okay, I'm going to mark you down, Joanne, for that. Okay, thanks, Joanne. Appreciate that. And that was uh, that was a good deal for you. Okay, next I'm going to go on to. Are you still here, Miss Pam? I know at one time I think you were asking for blue and white pottery. I could I could be confused, but I am going to start with a really cute piece here. I'm going to get them all up here on the table so I don't have to keep reaching. Are you still here, Miss Pam? Oh, yes. Good. Check out this little cute turtle. Look at this cute, cute turtle I found. So, oh, it's got a little butterfly on the top. 
Oh my goodness. And he's got a little um, flower in his hat there. Isn't he so cute? And his little smile, little lashes. And I'm gonna take off the lid so that you can see the lid. I mean, the inside of the here. And inside there's a little blue stamp in here. Now all this blue and white pottery I'm going to show you, it is all marked Handmade Russia. So all of this I'm going to show you says Handmade Russia and I'm gonna show you the round, around his neck. You can see all the detailing and flowers around his neck here. And I just love the swirling in his shell here and his little tail in the back. And the top just goes right back on. Isn't he just so cute? Just so cute. And I'm going to measure him real quick. Now, like I said, all the spoon white pottery is stamped handmade in Russia. And this is six inches long and he stands with a butterfly, uh, three and a half inches. And he's going to be $18 number 21 $18 number 21 for this turtle I know and I just love I just love the whole thing from the butterfly on the back to the little his hat and the flower in his hat there $18 number 24 if anybody like this turtle write him down For the turtle. I just love that turtle. So cute. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to pass on to the next one then. I have a beautiful, beautiful sugar dish. And it is also the, um, Russian blue and white pottery. Is this sugar dish not amazing? This is absolutely a stunning sugar dish. It is the fanciest sugar dish I have think I've ever seen. And look at the lid on the sugar dish, the handle there, and the handles on the sugar dish to all the blue and white flowers and designs that are around this. I'm gonna take the lid off so I can show you everything here. Up close, look at this blue and white, oh my gosh. I know this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna bring you around to the side here. Check out the handle. I just love the design that's going all the way down the handle here to the shape of the handle. And there's design that goes all the way around the bottom here. So, so pretty. To those beautiful roses in the front, I'm gonna show you the inside. I don't think this ever used, there's not even, you know, a sugar crumb in here at all. And there's also some design on the top with a scalloping around the edges. And on the bottom, it does say stamped here, handmade Russia right here. And this is going to, I'm going to show you the top too again. And this is the lid that goes on the top of the sugar dish. And this is what the top looks like with all the beautiful flowers all the way around. And look at this handle. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. And this sugar dish measures, it's a very big chunky sugar dish, a statement sugar dish. This measures six inches tall, and with the handles, it is seven. So six by seven. I'll put it by my head here so you can see it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. Very beautiful. This is going to be $22, and it's going to be number 27. $22 for number 27 for the sugar dish. If anybody would like this. 
number 27 for $22 for this gorgeous handmade Russian blue and white pottery. Just love the handles and the lid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Very, very pretty. Okay, I'm going to go on to my next one. I have a cheese platter. I have a beautiful cheese platter. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It is a blue and white flowered, as you can see, cheese dish. And check out the handle on this. I love the shape of this handle. There's no chips. There's no cracks on this. We'll show you from the top here. As you can see, it sits at an angle so that you know it is a cheese dish. And it is, it, it's a very dark blue. It might be showing up a light blue, but it's a very dark blue. No chips, no cracks. I'm gonna show you the bottom. The bottom does have a stamp here, made in England on the bottom. Just a white platter. There's no chips. There's no cracks, and I'm going to measure it for you. Very, very cool. Very cool piece. It is five inches tall, and the platters is almost eight inches. I'm going to put it by my head. Isn't this so cool? I just love this piece. Love the handle, and I love the blueprint. Very, very pretty. This is going to be $14, number 41. $14, number 41 for the butter, I mean the cheese dish. Cheese dish. If anybody would like that? <laughs> Yeah, but, um, okay, let's see what else can I do here. Pull some things up here. And in a little bit, I'm going to do some um, uranium. Okay, I have this really cute chicken. Very cute. I love the yellows and the greens. And is a little, there's no chips on this and there's no cracks on it at all. Very, very cute chicken. There's no crack. Maybe there's a little paint loss right here. And it, let's measure this guy. Here it is. And he is... He is six inches long and stands about four inches tall. And he's going to be $9, number 11. $9, number 11 for this really cute, kitschy chicken. He's doing the chicken dance. <laughs> I don't know, I can't see my thumbs up. I can't even see them. Hmm. So I don't know if anybody's giving me a thumbs up or not. So I hope everybody is. $9, number 11 for this really cute chicken. Just a little planter. Very kitschy. And the yellow on the flower is like a really buttery, creamy yellow color. Very pretty. Okay, and I will pass on him. I'm going to put my glasses back on. Okay, so I sold this. Okay, now I'm going to do some um, uranium. I have this really cool. I'm not even going to attempt to show the glow because I'm in the sunlight and you're not going to see it. But believe me, if, if you see my other videos, you've seen that all my uranium glows like crazy. As you can see, it is marked here, Hazel Atlas on the bottom. 
and it is a Hazel Atlas ashtray, and it is so freaking cool. I love the sunburst on the bottom and the um, the etching and detailing around the side here. Do it real quick. It'd be a nice addition to any any uranium collection. It is four inches, and this is going to be nine dollars. Number sixty six. Nine dollars sixty six for this uranium um, hazel atlas ashtray. Oh, thanks. Yay. $12, number 66, if anybody would like this Hazel Atlas ashtray. So cool. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. I'll pass on that. Just going to write it down. Next, I have, if you've seen my videos, you've seen this glow. They glow crazy. I have a sugar and a creamer. And I love the ribbing through the um, glass here. And it is uranium and it is gorgeous and it glows a lot. There's no chips and there's no cracks. And I'm going to measure, I'm just going to measure the sugar dish to give you, um, an idea here. With the handle, it is six inches and it stands to three inches. Put them here by my head so you can see them. And these are going to be $18, number 27. $18, number 27, for the sugar and creamer. If anybody would like those. Okay, and I'll skip to the next one. Let me turn around and grab some, some of my stuff behind me here. I have a lot of um, vintage books, magazines. I'm gonna set them over here. Well, first, before I get to the magazines, I'm gonna grab something that is over here in the box that I need to unwrap to show you. It is really, really cool. I got these the other day and I'm gonna unwrap the first. It is this green and gold. I believe it's Bohemian glass. And I'm gonna show you the um, little cups that go with it. And there are seven little of these cups. You can hear my birds from in here. Yes, you're right. Okay, now here are the little cups that go with it. Aren't they so cute? And there's no wear on the gold at all. So I'm, this, I'm thinking this is either like a little sake cup and or for brandy. But all the all the gold and the green is I this green is awesome. And like I said, there are there are seven of these little cups that go with it. And there's no chips on them, there's no cracks. Just really, really beautiful green. Green, green, green. Oh my god, this would be amazing for Christmas time. Anytime. Anytime's anytime's good for a good drink. Isn't this so cool? Very pretty. And for this set, I'm going to say with the that and the seven cups, I'm going to say $18. I think that's a pretty good price. 
for that little set. $18 number um, 66 for the um, decanter with a little seven glasses. $18 number 66 if you would like the decanter with the seven glasses. The green decanter. Yeah, I saw those. I was like, yes, please. I will take those. So I'll show you again, number 66 for $18 for this decanter and seven of these little glasses that go with it. That green is so pretty, isn't it? It's like a nice dark olive green. Very, very pretty. Kate and I will go on to, I'm going to put these back in the box. I don't like having glass accidents at all. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink here. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not raining yet. Oh yeah, it could be a cordial set. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You are right. Okay, I also have a piece of this, um, in just a minute, I'm going to go through these um, books and stuff. Got a lot of books. Um, this is also a piece of that um, handmade Russian pottery, blue and white Russian pottery. It is a little vase. It is so cute with the blue flowers on it. And here's the top. Funny because you think this vase would sit like this. You know, th that's the vase like that. But no, this is the top and here's the hole for the vase here. And here's a stamp on the bottom that says handmade Russia. And it is a really cute, just very cute, delicate piece. Now I'll measure it for you. Very pretty. Oh, good. I got lots of books, lots of books. Okay, this is four and a half inches tall. And this is two and a half. Very pretty. This is gonna be $12 dollars for this really cute vase and it's going to be number nine twelve dollars number nine for the vase okay very pretty isn't it all the times that we did to hand paint all this stuff is just incredible Okay, and I will go on to my next. I'm gonna show two more and then that, okay. I have this little blue and white Dutch girl vase. Uh, yes, it's a vase. It's really, it's a darker blue up here, but then there's a lighter blue that goes on the outside of this here. And this dark blue matches her apron and her shoes. And look at her little hat and her little face. I love her little hat. And the little shoes down here at the bottom. Put her here next to my head. And I'll measure her for you real quick. And she stands tall. And the rim is three and a half inches. And she's going to be $9. Number 11. $9. Number 11 for the little Dutch girl. She's so cute. No chips or no cracks on her or anything. And she also, she is made in Japan on the bottom here. <clears throat> really cute for your kitchen, I think. Okay, and I will go on to my next. I'm just gonna take another quick sip here. Okay, my next piece is a really cute elephant. Who doesn't love elephants? Trunk up for good luck, and it's even got his little tusk in there. Very cute. With the pink ears, and he's got a little blanket on his back, and it is a planter. His tail's in the back, and his yellow and blue ball right here. So, so cute. 
Very cute. Let's measure him. This little guy here. He measures five inches long and with his trunk up, he is four and a half inches. And he's going to be $9, number 12, if anybody would like this elephant. $9, number 12, if anybody would like this really cute elephant. Like we say, trunk up for good luck. Mm -hmm. I love his pink ears too. Very, very pretty. Very cute. Okay. I will go on to my next then. One more item, then we'll go on to some books. I got these also with the um, those vintage uh, bells that I showed you that Joanne got. Let me get rid of this thing here. Hang on, I mean like a spider. It is a box of, um, let's see, what's it says here? Pencil sharpeners. It is in its original box. There's a little bit of wear on it. Not that bad. And I'm going to take the lid off and show you. And this is what the inside of the box looks like. Every sharpener in here is a different piece. There's oranges, um, some there. It's like fruit and vegetables. Hi, Trisha. Thanks for coming in, Trisha. Hi, Mary. Thanks, guys, for coming in. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate it so so much. But check these out. Aren't they cool? I've never seen anything like this. They were all um, pencil sharpeners. I'm going to take one out and you can see it. This one is a orange. And this, this is what the top of the orange looks like. And the sharpener is down here on the bottom. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm like, I've never seen anything like this and I'm going to get it. <laughs> and every piece is different. I think this is like a bok choy here, an eggplant, and just all kinds of different fruits. Would you like me to take them out so you can see them all? Or would you like me to just leave them in the box and you can see them good enough? I'm going to take the bok choy out. I thought the bok choy was fun. Like this little piece of bok choy. <laughs> and there's the sharpener on the bottom. All the sharpener, I'm going to take out the eggplant too. Why not? This is the eggplant. <laughs> I know, they're kind of like um, some kind of resin. Just some kind of resin. Yes, that's why I got them because they're so different and unique. And look at the um, sharpener. All the sharpeners are right down at the bottom. And there's six of them in here. So a different sharpener for every fruit and vegetable. And these are going to be, I'm going to say $14 with the original box. It's a nice red, white, and blue box. And these are going to be $14, number 33. $14 for the whole box of six for 33. Okay, Christina. Have a good one. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. So number 33 for $14 for the um, pencil sharpeners. Okay, and now we're going to do some magazines. I have some really cool magazines. The first one I'm going to show you is a fairy lamp book. As you can see, it says the 19th century fairy lamps. Look at the one on the cover. Oh my gosh. So cool. Every page is different. I'm going to show you a couple of pages. I'm going to tell you how many pages. It's this thick and it is can't remember if they I don't, I don't think there was any page numbers if I remember correctly nope there's no page numbers but I'm just going to go through the book and I'm going to show you some pictures of amazing fairy lamps here's one page aren't they gorgeous simply gorgeous 
Look at, look at this one right here. Wow. Probably things I will probably never see in my life. These are like, oh my gosh. Look at this light blue one in here. Oh my, look at this. Oh my gosh, they're all just gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'll show you another page. Just randomly picking a page. Every page is different with some kind of beauty of a fairy lamp. <coughs> so pretty. This is going to be $14. Number 72. $14, number 72 for the fairy lamp book. Anybody would like that? Want one, Trisha? Okay. I got you. I'm going to set this down over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I also have a, um, I believe I have another one, but I'm going to have to check. I'm going to have to check. I could. I could, but I'm not 100% sure. I have a whole bunch of golden books. If anybody would like these, I have a bozo. <coughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, oak. Oak pick. The Arctic Owl. Let's check out this. Let's check out this inside of this book. This one looks a little bit older. Nineteen sixty-eight. Oh, here's a little owl in here. These are so cute, aren't they? Look at this. I bet you this is a really cute story. Oak pick the Arctic Owl. <laughs> and here's the little mermaid one. Here is the rescuers. Peter Pan. The egg book. Another Peter Pan Wendy book. Uh, this is Yogi Bear. Hey, Yogi. Uh, fuff. Rough and ready. Not rough and, yeah, rough and ready. That must be an older cartoon. I don't remember that one. This is, oh yeah, it looks 1959. This one is from 1959. So this one is, oh, this one's a little bit older. And then also we have, let's see, oh, we have Woody Woodpecker. And we have a Santa toy shop. So. Hmm. What should we do? I know your pick for. You pick out four of these books and there'll be $8. Your pick for four for $8. Any four of these for $8 if you'd like them. I'm going to show them real quick again. There's Woody Woodpecker. So four for $8. Woody, Santa, Rough and Ready, uh, Yogi Bear, Peter Pan, Wendy, and the Egg Book, and Peter Pan, of uh, Peter Pan and the Rescuers, and Mermaid, and here's a cool one, Bozo, and the Oak Pick. Your four. For eight dollars, if you'd like to pick out four of them, just let me know. Put these back down here. I'll grab another drink. Oh. Oh yes. I never heard of that one. Oh. No, just tell me which ones that you want, Trisha, and I'll, I'll go ahead. Go ahead, Trisha, which ones would you like? Want me to hold them back up again? Oh, 
Or did you already pick up four that you like? Here's the mermaid one. Okay. I know that oak pick is really cute, isn't it? Okay, I got the oak pick for you. And rough. And bozo. And yogi. Gotcha. Rough. Oak and the yogi one. And ready. I got your four, Trish. Good pick. Good pick. Here you go, Trish. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to put these to the side with your fairy lamp book. Yes. Okay, did anybody want any other books? There are, let's see. There are one, two, three, four. Would anybody look anything else? Okay. You're welcome. And let's move on to the next. I have some really cool cookbooks. My first one is um, Best of the Bake Off from Pillsbury. What, new 100 Bake Off recipes. And it tells you a lot. Let's go to one page here. Here's the first page. Okay. I'm going to start showing these and I'm going to get hungry. I showed these before in my cell and I got hungry. Look at those brownies. Oh my gosh. Fudge nougats. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Jamaican mystery cake. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, chocolate celebration cake. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. This is going to be $8. Number 10. Eight dollars, number 10 for the um, Pillsbury cookbook. Okay, and set this guy over here. My glass box down. I have a 1985 Christmas Southern Living cookbook. This is awesome. I've already gone through it, and there's a lot of awesome things in here. A lot. And there's a lot of, um, there's just so many recipes in here. Look at this page right here. Oh, I just love that cup. I love the cups. That's I'm, I look at all the cups and the glasses, and that's just me. Look at, the, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Imagine waking up to having this for Christmas. Look at that. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Anybody getting hungry now? Okay, let's see. What, what are the gummies? Oh my gosh. Mm. Just look at this. From the table setting to the wallpaper and all the decorations. Oh my gosh. This is going to be $12, number 85, $12.85 for the Southern Living 1985 Christmas cookbook. Anybody would like this? <laughs> I know. I need a snack. <laughs> Let me just write that down. I said that was number 85. Okay. Okay. I have um, a few magazines here. I'm going to do a child's magazine. And this is the, it's not a magazine, it's a book. And it is the best book I've ever had. And this book says a lot for it because I love this book. I was going to sell it. But I feel like I just want to pass my stuff on to everybody else that's going to enjoy it more. This is a Elves and Fairies book. Now, wait until you see the inside because it is amazing. Now, there is some wear on the binding here. As you can see, it is an older book. And as it says here, it is a giant 
golden book up here on the top. Now I'm waiting until you see the inside. This is just the front cover of the magazine, the book. It's called a magazine, but it's not, it's a book. I'm just gonna go through some pages here and I'm gonna get a date for you too also. The date here is 1951. I'm going to show that to you right here, if I can get it up to you. Right here in the corner, it says 1951 right there. And wait until you see, so I'm going to put my, put my chair over so we can go through this together. I'm just going to show you some of the pages because this book is so amazing. Uh, the graphics on here are, uh, you should put them in a frame. Um, I, let's just, I just love this book. You know, like I said, there is some wear on the outside pages, I mean, of the binding, but the inside of the book is most important to me. And there's 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 quite a few stories here. This was called Singeli Silver Slippers. And here's uh, another page of all the elves creeping around. Yes. There you go. Isn't that so cool? Look at that. <laughs> So yes, this is an elf and fairy book. Here's some more elves and fairies on this page. I have some pages highlighted, which I'm just going to show you. Okay. <laughs> this is called The Brownie in the Garden. And on the other side, it says The, Glo the Goblinade. Look at these stories of the elves and the fairies dancing around. Show you the other page. So cool, huh? Like I said, this this book is amazing. I'll show you another highlighted page here. Here's another page of all the goblins and the fairies. See them all in there? Isn't this so cool? I just love the print and the color of these pages. So nice and bright and cheerful. I'll show you another highlighted page here. Here's him sticking out the window, talking to one of his fairies there, friends right there. I guess he's up there telling him some secret. Here's some other fairies on the other page. Uh, another highlighted page here. Another highlighted page. I think there's like, there's quite a few stories in this book. Very cool, isn't it? And this book is going to be $18, $18 number 84 for the Elves and Fairies. If anybody would like that. I'm going to put it right in here so that I remember. $18 number 44 for the Elves and Fairies. $18, number 44. $18, number 44 for the Elves and Fairies, if anybody would like this amazing book. I just love this book. Did you want this, Nancy? And look at this. I know. I know. And you know what? When you open up the book, the whole book is like this. So the edge of the tree goes and then there's more fairies. Look at they got fairy houses all in here. Okay. I got I'm gonna put you down the Nancy. Congratulations. You're gonna love it. You are going to love it, because I love it. And it's it's a beautiful book. The the print and detailing. Okay, I'm going to put this down and put that away for you. Thank you again. Okay, I also have a really old 1931 McCall's Magazine. Check it out. Now, there is some wear here that's almost 100 years old. And they did put tape on it. 
So there's like a clear tape that's right here. But check out this 1931 McCall's magazine. Look at the her the print of this lady. Absolutely gorgeous. 1931. That was a long time ago. It's about 100 years ago. Let's see. I just have a couple pages um, highlighted in here. Um, this book, called, it's got a lot of um, stories in here. Just go through some of these pages here. I love the coloring and the print. It's like a peach and gray print right here. And I have another page highlighted here. There's a lot of ads in here. A lot, a lot of ads. Like here's one here for, um, yeah, there's a lot of um, patterns in here for sewing and their dresses. But this is just a really cool, look at Colgate's Ribbon Dental Cream down here. Wow. <laughs> uh, don't grow old. Who wants to grow old? And then I like this one. It says, wave it yourself of how to wave your own hair with like, um, you know, like Brett's and bobby pins and stuff. Quick look at X twice. <laughs> baking, um, baking powder right here. Hostess recipes. Um, look, at, here's a Del Monte um, ad here. And this is going to be $14, number 31. $14, number 31, if anybody would like the McCall's 19, February 1931 magazine. Oh, so, yeah. That was nice of you, Trisha. Okay, and I'm going to go on to another um, book, children's book. This book is also amazing. The print and the detailing in, in this is awesome. It's called The Little, Ten Little Pets That Came Home. And I'm going to give you the date on this. Look at, uh, just look at the print of these animals so cute so so cute okay let's see that there's a date in here here's just the inside of the book right here very bright very very bright oh my gosh so pretty 1945 i'm going to show you the date right here it says 1945 right there let me put my finger on it so you can see it it's right there above my finger i know there's a date. And this is the inside of the book. I'm just going to show you some pages through here. I just love the coloring and the detailing in this book. So it did say 1945. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So, so pretty. And here's another page here. This is the story of her dear and her, her dear friend here. I like this, this story, story to say, 10 little pets that came. So this probably is a story about the squirrels. And this is the donkey. Isn't that, I love the print of that blue and that, and the brown there. This is going to be $14, number 22. $14, number 22 for the um, 10 pets. I'm going to show you the back also, because this is cool when I was looking at it. In the back, they made these little medallions that you could cut out. And also on the back of the book. So when you were little, you could cut them out and you could punch a hole through them. And the kids could wear them as uh, as necklaces, maybe stick them on your bikes or you know whatever they wanted to do with them back then. But I, this, I just love this. Number 14, number 22 for the 10 pets. <laughs> I always wanted a monkey too when I was little. I want a monkey. So fun, this book. Okay, and I'll go on to my next. Let's see 
Um, let's see. I think that is all of my magazines and my books. Yep. Now I'm going to move over to stuff that's over here onto this shelf. Um, let's start with this hippo. I have this dark, it's like a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue, and it says Metropolitan Museum on the bottom. And it is dark blue and it has really pretty designs throughout it. A lot of crazing. I think a lot of this is faux crazing, but then again, there's a lot of um, real crazing on top of it. And I love the print on it. Oh, really? That's cool. And there's a print down, uh, stamp down here that, that does say Metropolitan Museum. Yes, Kehlani. I want you to play outside for a little while until it it's starts raining. raining. Oh, okay, go ahead. Like, it's almost five. Okay. And this um, is going to be, I'm going to say $22. I'm going to measure it first. Let's see how big it is. Um, let's see. In width, it is eight inches, and it stands four inches. This is going to be $22 for this hippo. Number 18, $22, number 18 for the Sippo. Very cool, isn't it? I love the design throughout him. Very cool. I love the color of him, though. So. Turquoise and pink are my favorite colors. Okay, and I'll put him back. I'm going to show you my blue and white um, Russian pottery here. All these are stamped handmade Russia on each piece of my blue and white pottery. I'll show you the spoon first. It has a really pretty um, print on it with the flowers. Very, very pretty. Isn't it? Oh, I just love this spoon. I think it's the prettiest spoon I've ever seen. To be honest... I love that. Now here's the cup. I'm going to measure the top of the cup. For you, it is uh, four inches. I'm going to measure the saucer. The saucer is six inches. Very, very pretty. Here's the saucer here. Well, this blue and white... Um, flowers all the way around. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. And like I said, it is stamped on the bottom here. Handmade Russia on the bottom here. So pretty. And I'm going to show you the cup again. And I love the handle on this cup. blue and white. Then there's the handle. I'm going to show you the design on the handle here. And the inside also has a print. I don't think it was ever used. I don't, think, I don't see any stir marks or utensil marks in it. And with the spoon, this is going to be $18. Number 77 for the teacup or coffee cup. If anybody would like that, number 77 for $18 for this beautiful, beautiful cup with a spoon. Okay, and I'm going to put this back on the shelf then. I have this real pretty piece of, it is a cranberry glass. It is done by the Pilgrim Factory. And they have a little bit about the Pilgrim Factory in the back of this tag. And I just love the swirls in this glass. So, so pretty. And also there's a stamp right here that says the Pilgrim glass right here. There's no chips. There's no cracks. I'm going to measure that for you. The top is 
um, about four inches and it stands six inches. And this is going to be $18. Number 71, $18 for the Pilgrim glass. Number 71, if anybody would like this. Isn't it pretty? I just love the swirls in it. It is starting to get darker out and I believe it's going to start raining. <laughs> I'm going to go to a party in the rain, but they have a lot of um, easy ups and stuff outside. So, hey, at least it's not snowing. It could be snowing in New York. You never know. Tomorrow's a different day. Okay, I'm going to pass on that. Okay. I am going to show After these two pieces, I'm just going to show this one magazine that I forgot that. Oh, a couple more magazines that are right here that I, I missed. I believe this is Carnival Glass. Very, very pretty. Um, little trinket dish, candy dish. I'm going to measure it. There's no shit on it. There's no cracks on it. I just love the um, golden color to it. It's like a peachy golden color. And it measures six and a half inches. And this is going to be $9.00. Number 12, if anybody would like this cane, it does have the flowers around the edges here, as you can see. Very pretty. $9, number 12, if anybody would like this. Very, very pretty. Okay, I'm going to put this one back. Then I'm going to show you another piece of almost like the same kind of um, coloring. It's a golden peach. And it does have like a, um, there's a texture on the outside of it. And it's so cool. It's not the stretch glass. Cause I know what the stretch glass looks like, but this is just so cool. There's no chips on it. There's no cracks on it. Just a real pretty fun dish actually to display any of your colored glass with. That is what it was with my colored glass. This is going to be um, $12. Number nine. $12, number nine, if anybody would like this ball. Let me measure it first. So we know what we're dealing with here. It is six inches by three. Six by three. Very pretty, isn't it? Very pretty. I love the texture on the outside of it. Very nice. $12, number nine, if anybody would like this bowl. There's no chips on it. There's no cracks on it. Just a very pretty, unique dish, I think. Okay, and I'll go on to my next. I'm going to take my glasses off for a second. Sometimes they make me get a little bit of a headache. I have two pieces of um, milk glass. My first piece is this one with a little hobnailing all over it and the scallop top. I have, as you know my story, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of glass. I have a lot of glass. This stands four inches tall and the opening is almost four inches and it is now downpouring. Yep, fun. And this is going to be this is going to be nine dollars. Number twenty six. If anybody would like to smell glass, there's no chips, there's no cracks. Melt glass is really awesome piece to display any kind of colored glass because it helps set off the colors that you're trying to display. And melt glass is just uh, a beautiful, a beautiful and timeless piece. Melt glass is, I think. Okay, and I've got one more milk piece to show you. And this is a little um, Fenton hobnail rose um, ball. 
does ha it does have a little crack in here, but it's not um, anything major, I don't think. And then you can see here's the top here. Isn't that so cool how it does that? All the knobs are, are all good. And this is going to be $9 also. And it is number 11. Very pretty. I love the top right here. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my first and only piece of M.A. Hadley. It is marked on the bottom, M.A. Hadley. And it's got a pink and blue cow right there. And then in the back, it does say M.A. Hadley. And I'll measure it for you real quick. And it measures five inches. And this is going to be $9, number 88. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's, it's really starting to pour. Maybe I should just get off if it's getting bad. Yeah. Maybe I should just do that because I know it's, it's, this is just the beginning. It's going to get worse. So, and I'm going to head over to this party anyways, in this pouring rain, wear my wetsuit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know it's probably going to get worse because I already looked at the radar and, and there's going to be some thundering and lightning in it. So, you know what? I'm just going to finish up with these magazines and then I'm going to head out. My first one is this 1965 October Family Circle. I got this magazine because it is the year and the date that I was born. And I just got it because of that. And look at this glass that's sitting on the table here. Yes, it is. You are right, Rebecca. And there's, I believe it's a piece of Westmoreland back here in the shelf here. I just love looking at all the details and everything. So the candlesticks up here and the lamp. Oh, there, I'm going to, I'll show you some highlighted. Um, <laughs> I look at this stuff. It just, you know, it reminds me of my mom because this the styles my mom wore her hair in. I love looking at this stuff. I could, I just spend hours looking at old magazines, just looking through them and it's fun to do that. And this one says petite fours, pastel pretty party going. Look at that. Isn't, oh my gosh. I wish I could be that talented and make stuff like that. So cool. And let's see another page here. Okay. Oh, this one is about the um, the Reynolds wrap. How you wrap? The new thing was to wrap apples and add brown sugar into your foil. Yum. <laughs> and this book's going to be eleven dollars, number fifteen. If anybody like the Family Circle one, eleven dollars, number fifteen. If anybody like this Family Circle one, October nineteen sixty five. Okay, and I'm going to go on to, I only have two more here, and then I'm going to pop off. This is a Silver Anniversary Bake Off Pillsbury. Now, I've already gone through this, and it's cool. This is so cool. Really, really a lot of nice uh, recipes in here. That make me hungry. <laughs> but I'm heading over to eat some um, seafood. I'm just going to show you some, some of these. Apple butter nut cake. Yum. Lots and lots of recipes in here. Let's see another one here. Let's make us all more hungrier. Um, this one is chocolate cherry bars. Oh my gosh. My mouth is drooling. <laughs> so good. This is going to be nine bucks, number 27. Nine bucks, 27 for this um, silver silver anniversary up here, it says. And I think it's from the 70s, maybe. Early 70s. Okay, 
Now I'm just going to show one more magazine. Um, it's a cookbook. And then I'm going to pop off. It is called The Lady Had Seconds. Look at the cover of this. And I'm going to show you the back. Love that plate. And here's the back. Look at that yummy, yummy cake. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot. I must have been hungry. <laughs> I highlighted a lot. Must have been hungry. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, the pictures in here are just yum. There's a lot. There's a really lot of nice recipes in here. I, I went through this. Look at this cherry. Cherry pie with the hearts in it. Oh my goodness. Yum. And here is a tray chic tray leches. So it's probably with um some kind of fruit. And this is gonna be twelve dollars. Number sixty six. If anybody would like this, twelve dollars. Number sixty six. If anybody would like this, very cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop off and I'm going to go take off around the lake to that seafood party and have some yummy seafood. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I appreciate you guys coming in and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.